doing this on an iPad because it's a little easier to see the uh, controls even though they work identically on an, an iPhone. They're just a little bit bigger here. Um, okay, the first thing that comes up is the Pick Sound Play screen and it shows you uh, right away there's a little prompt up here move finger over picture to play and you can always get rid of those prompts just by touching them. So the first thing you'll notice are these different uh, color gradients and each color has a musical scale and an instrument assigned to it and you can hear higher up in the scale the brighter you go and you can use these plus and minus buttons to change the beat value so it'll go faster according to the beat value or slower with the minus and you'll notice up in the right hand corner the uh, beat value is assigned so if you see eighth note that means each one of these is an eighth note based on the current tempo so I like playing with at least sixteenth notes when I'm just showing this and then um, so the red green and blue are the pure colors and then these are sort of combinations of two colors here and you can hear two instruments at a time and then when you go to the grayscale, you get all three instruments in unison and then down here you get the three instruments interacting now, there are lots of different musical scales, and this happens to be the one that comes up, and it's called pentatonic. And um, you can go into other scales. I'll show you a quick trick to go into a uh, chromatic scale, which is a fuller scale. And that is to click that little icon in the corner, which brings you to the preset screen. And each of these presets has a different sort of musical feel to it. This uh, big button up here at the top has three sections into it. This is the chromatic section, this is sort of the do-re-mi section, and this is the pentatonic section. So if I hit the chromatic section, it'll go into the full scale. And you can hear it's a different musical scale. And of course you can just jump around so you can get a lot of different effects. And I've and that's kind of a all right so that's that's we'll get to the presets in a second but uh, you can see these buttons at the bottom here and those are for uh, turning on and off various things you know for example this is the autoplay and you can see right there a, a little bubble appears and it sort of moves back and forth and you use your finger to drag where you want that to go so if I drag a little rectangle it'll sort of follow that and if you just sort of click somewhere else, it'll just sort of follow you there. And if you go into the black, it creates a nice little rest. So that's always a good trick to remember is black and white are a rest. So we can always stop it by hitting the pause button. You can go back over here and we can go to the sort of the do-re-mi scale and hit play again and we'll go auto-play again. And we can slow it down. Now you'll notice when I go into autoplay, the plus and the minus bring up this number up there. Well, what's that number? That number is how fast does this autoplay cursor move? It moves, in this case, I told it to move one step at a time for every beat that it plays. How could I change the beat value? And that's done by sliding out on the button. You'll see then that this changes it to a 16th note there. So by sliding out of certain buttons, you get a different effect, and that's important to remember. Say, for example, this keyboard toggle brings out a, key, a transposer keyboard in normal mode, and I can go from C to C sharp, and you can hear that the music changes a little bit, and go up to E, and then if I slide out of that same button, it turns into a mixing board and then I can change the, the relative volumes of the red, green, blue, bass, drum, and then the master mixer like this. So you can create a fade if you want for your music. So slide out of that, changes it from keyboard to mixer, and then hitting it hides it and shows it. Same thing with this little triangle here. It's a way you can kind of get to a full screen graphic. And we put a little prompt up there to help you remember that stuff at first. <clears throat> and you can show the the controls again and then after you've uh, turned off the autoplay you can get into uh,
turning on song progressions, bass lines, drums. And those things are the controlled in the settings panel. And let me talk about some of the settings that you can control. Um, for example, instruments are controlled in terms of uh, 127 different sounds that we provide plus the drum set. Um, and you pick red, green, and blue instruments by selecting these three uh, buttons. So there's the red instrument is the acoustic grand piano in this case, the green is the xylophone, the blue is the flute, and then the bass is an electric finger bass. So if I wanted to change that to electric pick bass, just select there and I, my finger accidentally hit the photo. So if I go to electric pick bass and then let's say I wanted instead of a flute I wanted to do a pan flute and you could listen to a, a single instrument by clicking that or you can listen to the three combined together like this. And one other thing you could do is if I wanted them all to be pan flutes which sometimes is nice when they're all on the same instrument you can hit the equal button and then now they're all set to pan flute or if you wanted to just sort of experiment around and hear different random combinations you could hear that. So well, let's try that. I have a nice random setting there and we can go back out here and you can play. Now some of the sounds <clears throat> are longer sounds so you have to hold in one place to sort of hear the full sound. And then as you can tell, as you go into the lower, I mean the darker shades, the notes can go quite low. So that's important to remember is that you can have a very very uh, full music range in pick sound. Um, <clears throat> all right, so let's go over to some of these other navigation areas here in the uh, settings. So you have the music tab which has song progression, the key, the scale, and how high and low you want the, uh, the extremes to be. So one of the things you can do that's kind of useful um, is to get an autoplay going. And, you know, usually down here is a nice area, maybe somewhere where you can hear the three, uh, the three sounds together. And you can set it at whatever speed. If you want it a little bit faster, you can do that. You can go into your settings here, and then you can play with the, the low note and the high note. So now I'm limiting how <coughs> how high the notes can go, or if I want to limit how, the low end, I could do that too. I could bring it to a very narrow range, or I could make it all very low. So you can use that to set sort of the musical range. And then you can play around with musical scales. And we have a lot of musical scales. Some of them are just chords, and then some of them are modes. And you can just sort of hear the differences. These are very nice traditional modes. And then you can get into some some more sophisticated scales <clears throat> and then you can, go, you can just sort of touch out of there and it'll dismiss that so you can go back to playing with the limits and um, then you have song progression so let's start just turning song progression on and what this is going to do now it's going to make the scale that I just picked go back and forth between two different keys the one and the five and you have a lot of different song progressions to choose from. Um, here's one that just kind of does three different chords uh, in a row. Let me go back out here and let's try a different area. I'm gonna slow it down a little bit. Now let's turn on the bass so you can hear your song, the bass line, 